Today we're after one of the most beautiful turtle species in the low country, and we're going to join herpetologist Dirk Stevenson and Houston Chandler to assist them with the research. Guys, good, good to, see, to you. see you. Hey, Tony. So what's the plan for today? Obviously, we're in the habitat. How are we going to do this? So today we're going to look for spotted turtles. This is a site where we've been monitoring spotted turtles for three years now. This is the fourth year of our study. Um, today we're going to go ahead and check some turtle traps, and hopefully we'll catch some turtles. All right, well, I'll follow you guys. Tony, I've got a trap right here. Let's see what we got. Man, it is really slick in here. Here we go. Just sardines. Wow. All right. So this is an interesting trap, Dirk. So it's got just two little openings. This probably excludes a lot of big turtles, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. These are specially modified to accommodate something the size of an adult spotted turtle but not bigger. So we're not catching large snapping turtles or sliders. And the, in these the universal bait, sardines. Right, sardines. <laughs> All right, well, there's a couple more traps around the corner. All right, up to you. Dirk looks like some beavers have moved oh, in yeah. here. Check it out. Tony, there's another trap right here that you can check. Well, this is a beaver dam, isn't it? Looks like they've been, have some ditches here and this is, man, this is great habitat. Oh, there we go. Look at yeah. that. Hey. So this is what we're after, spotted turtle, huh? All right. Yeah, and they're gorgeous. Like a boy. So it's a male, right? Scooped yep. out plastron. Right. What do you think, Dirk? Good looking. Beautiful. That's an adult male. You know, they they really are gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, this turtle has an interesting history. Houston can tell you more. So do you know this turtle? Yeah, we know this well, turtle. So what's his uh, what's his yeah. name or what's his mark? This is Igor. Isn't yeah, it? his name is Igor. So you actually you actually yeah. name your turtle, so <laughs> well, it's not like BKX, it's right. Igor or e no. see how he's hunched. So he's, he's got Oh yeah, he's yeah. got kind of an interesting conspicuously hunchbacked and kind of deformed but he's a very healthy turtle. Yeah. We've known him for four years. And this is one of the ones that we radio tracked last year. So oh, cool. So how did you attach the transmitter on this? So we attached transmitters and temperature loggers, mm -hmm. and we just used a uh, waterproof epoxy right on the back. And they so just glued it, it right on the back of the shell. Glued it right on the back of the carapace and the antenna trail behind so that it's not likely to get stuck. And then we put the temperature logger on the other side. Yeah. Look at the little leeches. Yeah, leeches. He's got tiny leeches on him. We probably have leeches on us too. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine little leeches. Oh hey, uh, so let's talk about the just spotted turtles in general. So, what are the, some of the perils that these guys face? Well, th these are you know this is the second smallest uh, turtle in the whole eastern United States. Of our 50 turtle species, only the bog turtle is smaller, and these guys have really taken. Um, a pounding and decline due to development, loss of habitat. They get hit crossing roads. They've also been over collected right. in parts of the range to the profound detriment of some populations. And this is for primarily for the pet trade, right? Right. The reality is we don't need to be yeah. collecting them and selling them as pets, um, that's for sure. Yeah. In terms of the spots, you can see why the very, very bright, beautiful turtle in your hand, but if you put this guy down in the water with tannins and dappled sunlight it blends in beautifully right yeah they're very hard to see when they're in the water and they're very good at kind of burrowing down right on top of the leaf litter where you can't see them so what have you guys learned from radio tracking these turtles so over a nine month period we followed about 30 of these turtles around we learned that they generally stay in a very small area they don't move a lot um, a few turtles occasionally would move long distances but so like what's a long distance Occasionally we got a couple hundred meter movements, but that was rare in general. They tend to hang out in the same place over and over with very short five meter movements. So Dirk, why, why is the Orion Society interested in spotted turtles? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, the spotted turtle is a focal species 
of our freshwater turtle conservation initiative, Tony. And at the Orion Society, again, we're dedicated to the conservation of amphibians and reptiles. And we wanna to try to help save uh, species like the spotted turtle. So do you guys need to get some information from this one? Yeah, we're gonna hold on to him so that we can uh, weigh in before the day's done. All right, well, let's go try another spot. All right. Tony, we've got another trap we haven't checked yet right here. All right, let's get this one. Yeah. So we, we still want to wade one up. You yeah, can't pass can. up a trap. Right, right. We set this yesterday and used Houston's special recipe. Sardines, Sardines right? and oil. <laughs> yeah, sure enough. All right, hey, wow, two of them. Hey, that'll work. All right, let's get these out. Yeah. This is wow. a male that we've um, captured before. Oh, he'd look at the spots, Tony. Yeah, look how I mean, big they are. So, I mean, th this is a... So when these guys hatch out, do the, does the orientation of the spots change as they grow? Yeah, when, they're, when, they're, when they hatch, they have one yellow polka dot per scoot. Mm -hmm. And over time, they of develop so more out. spots. That's a beaut right there. A, and this is a big spot of So they're both males, males, right? Yep. Yep, both scooped out plus. When did these guys mate? And they aggregate right now. So they, I'll bet sometimes if you get a female in the trap, you end up seeing a lot of males. Yeah, we have you? three males and one female in the trap. I remember I was doing some ago. spotted turtles uh, trapping in the past, and we actually used decoys. We used little clay models. Yeah, did that uh, work? It did. It worked quite well. Really? Um, you know, we also used bait, so it was kind of Okay. <laughs> they were coming to the bait, or but the, the clay decoys seemed mm -hmm. to work for mm -hmm. sure. So we can let these guys go. Yep, I yeah. think we're done with them. All right. Yeah. Good to see you. Okay, guys, I want to catch one by waiting. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's about time. Boy, this is a beautiful one. Are you? Wow, look at that thing. Oh, man. That is a gorgeous, another male. Very this cool. Scoop. God, they really, they really are pretty cryptic, aren't yeah. they? So this is one of those species that could go undetected really easily, couldn't it? Definitely. They have very seasonal activity. Um, they're more active right now in the spring, and then they don't move very much they don't come out during the summer they don't come out during the winter so they're very hard to find um, and you have to be there at the right time to find them so these guys are eating invertebrates so they're they're omnivorous they eat uh fruit sometimes but they're primarily carnivorous houston yeah when we were radio tracking yeah. we actually got them um, eating gambusia on several occasions so um, mosquito fish yeah mosquito fish they'd be sitting in the leaf litter and they kind of be poking their head around and then they come out holding the mosquito fish and really. i've seen a lot of crayfish you know skeleton oh, yeah, there's wait tons the of stitch. crayfish in here yeah. there's lots of invertebrates tadpoles there's tons of food for them to eat okay so you want to let this guy go yeah we'll let him go and see if we can go find a female excellent Is it a male or a female? This is a female. Oh yeah, look how flat the plastron is. So her is. plastron is very flat. Um, she's a little chunkier and weightier than the males. So what's the typical clutch size in these guys? One to three. Spotted oh, wow. turtles do not lay many eggs. And just one clutch per year? Sometimes two, but often just one. Yeah, so Boy, that's not a lot of no. reproductive output, is it? No, that's, it's not. But they so, live a long time. She can, she can be on the landscape for many, many decades. And the, as old as us, Tony. <laughs> and like, the hatchlings, what, are about this big yeah, round or like, something? Yeah, like a half dollar. So probably the mortality happens when they're little. Right, to the eggs and the, the youngins, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, this has been absolutely amazing. This has been wonderful. Thank you, Tony. I Thanks mean, I love coming. spotted turtles, yeah. and they're really charismatic little guys. And I so appreciate the research you guys are doing with the Orient Society to protect spotted turtles and other species oh, that live thank you. in the southeast. We love them. And so I guess we need to let this one go. Yeah, we can let her go. Yeah. Thanks again for letting us work with you in your research.